English League Cup, semi-final, second leg. West Bromwich Albion, one. Chelsea, one. English Football League Championship. Blackpool, nil. Cardiff City, two. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Leicester City with 54 points. In second, Watford with 50 points. In third, Queen's Park Rangers with 49 points. In fourth, Blackburn Rovers with 49 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth, Burnley with 44 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In sixth, Nottingham Forest with 41 points. In seventh, Birmingham City with 41 points, but only behind on goal difference. In eighth, Sheffield Wednesday with 40 points. Bottom of the table, Bristol City with 21 points. And then, reading up the table, second bottom, Charlton Athletic with 25 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, Preston North End with 25 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fourth bottom, Peterborough United with 28 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fifth bottom, Leeds United with 28 points.
Ipswich Town go with this team today. Jonathan Pastas, despite looking shaky in recent games, and they'll play with a sole striker. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. So for the home team, the chance for a league double here. But they had to work hard for the away win. And I'm sure the opposition will be doubly determined to stop it being a double over them. Yeah, funnily enough. That's very gallant goalkeeping to get the ball at the feet of the opponent. Yeah, keeper showed a bit of pace there, actually, to make up the ground and close down the attacker. A definite foul very early on. We're very early in this game, aren't we? And the yellow card out straight away. That maybe could be difficult for the player. It is going to be maybe for the ref as well. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's a tightrope for the player, obviously, with so much to go in this match. But the kind of challenge, I think, had to be punished. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Well, he's got support here. to be a oh, well saved he's got it away and that's what you have to do they want to keep the opposition pen back this throw can help do that very good tackle tap and in goes the cross Group now at a goal kick. This is becoming a problem for him, isn't it? They're so used to scoring, and now he's hit the worst run of his career. Yeah, uh, the press are talking about it, um, and I think it's seeped through to his own game. He looks bereft of confidence out there. And the throw with a bit of urgency about it to keep the attack going. It's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball. Got it back again. A bit of concern, I think, from us for today's visitors after we've seen them lose four in a row. Yeah, it's been uh, pretty miserable around the football club and it's been up to the manager and the players, the senior ones, to lift the mood. And here comes the counter-attack. Well, it's clearly offside and uh, it messed up the chance, didn't it? Player that experience, you wouldn't expect him to get caught like that. Mistake. goes across, but he's got his fist to it. Got past his marker, the break is definitely on. And here's the shot, and he's opened the scoring here. And he's not hit it with power, has he? But he's certainly hit it with accuracy. Here's the goal again. And 
and that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Opportunity to cross it now. And he could get away here. And shoots! What a fine save. Turned onto the woodwork by the goalkeeper. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, put his side in the lead. Two new faces about to be introduced here. It's going to be treacherous conditions in this second half because the rain is still coming down and the pitch is getting wetter and wetter. It's a bad pass. He's given it straight to the opposition. McGoldrick. Tab. Space for the shot. Just over the top. Here's Wilson. Burrows. And here's the cross. Goes for... Go oh, there's the goal! And what a good header. Thumping effort to the keeper's right. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Quite caused the problems that it looked as though it would that cross. And now the defending team can play their way out of trouble. It's a quick break. And now the shot! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Well, EA Sports coverage of the Football League Championship continues. The fixture is coming up for Ipswich Town. They'll be facing Watford. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it and I am as well he had to clear it even at the expense of a corner one of the things the managers have to do is keep all their forwards happy well if you're on the bench you're not so happy if you get on you feel a bit better and it's like for like one and here's the header it's a corner and here's the shot that's not a good corner at all. Well, it's a chance, isn't it, to put the team under pressure, but they've just wasted that chance completely. So what about Blackpool's next game? They're playing Fulham in the next match in the football. Well, he's caught offside, trying to get in behind. He'll say that the pass should have come a bit earlier. Good play to uh, see that potential to get a foot in and intercept. And a corner given by the referee. And he's met it with his head. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Here comes the cross. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, the rain seems to be getting far worse now, but I can only congratulate the players. They're not complaining, they're just getting on with it. This could be it. The 
Shots on here, and he's put it into the bottom corner. And that showed real finesse, just to place it into the bottom right-hand corner. And here's the goal again. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Cameron. This is how they love to play on the break. And shoots! Here's the shot, and it's just wide of the target. The not often you get at this level a game as one-sided as this it's great for the team with all the goals but this might be it beautifully placed into the corner of the net and he simply stroked that one home giving the keeper no chance i have to say it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals Par. Still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. And here's the cross. That's a fine header. Just too high. Well, if he'd have scored from there, that would have been spectacular. Unlucky from the lad. Robertson. Cameron. in the goal and that has just lasered into the corner unstoppable with your losing count it's 5-0 and it's come to an end English Football League Championship. Blackburn Rovers 2, Bristol City 1. Bournemouth 1, Peterborough United 1. Brighton and Hove Albion 0, Burnley 3. Cardiff City 3, Brentford 1. Charlton Athletic 1, Birmingham City 0. Ipswich Town 0, Blackpool 5. Leeds United 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2. Nottingham Forest, 1. Leicester City, 2. Preston North End, 1. Queen's Park Rangers, 2. Reading, 0. Fulham, 1. Wigan Athletic, 2. Bolton Wanderers, 0. Wolverhampton Wanderers, 0. Watford, 2. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Leicester City with 60 points. In second, Queen's Park Rangers with 53 points. In third, Watford with 53 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fourth, Blackburn Rovers with 52 points. In fifth, rising up the table are Burnley with 47 points. In sixth and falling are Nottingham Forest with 44 points. In seventh, climbing the table are Sheffield Wednesday with 44 points, but only behind on goal difference. In eighth, moving down are Bournemouth with 44 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Bristol City with 24 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Preston North End with 26 points. Third bottom, rising up the table, are Charlton Athletic with 29 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fourth bottom, Peterborough United with 29 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fifth bottom, Ipswich Town with 29 points.
Welcome, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Alan, looking forward to it today. Yeah, I think so, Martin. There's a really good buzz in the air here. Well, they can be really the heartbeat of the team, these central midfield players, and we've got a new one making his debut today. What do you make of it, Alan? Well, I'm uh, impressed by the signing. I think he'll give them a bit more composure in the middle of the park. He can get up and down, and he's a good pass for the ball. They're not always household names, the full-backs, but I think this player, obviously, has got the potential to be one. Yeah, we always talk about the attacking qualities of full-backs these days, but what I like about this lad is he's an out-and-out -out defender, hard to get past. Counter-attack. Saw the goal and went for it. All oh, credit for shooting, but it wasn't a very good shot. Well, this could have an edge to it, isn't it? Because I know the home team were pretty upset with what happened in the away game when they were beaten. They weren't too pleased about their performance or indeed the reception that they got. No. Well, they got taught a lesson that day, and I'm sure there's been a lot of words spoken by the losing team since, so it might be a closer one here. He might be through. He's going to cross it. It's a great volley, and look at that. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Tim Green. Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, in goes the cross. And he claims the cross. It was, well, there's, nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers, but he's uh, not been challenged. This could be a chance. Talking about what happened when they last met, I'm sure it will only be a painful recollection because it was a really big defeat. But the manager does believe that his team have improved a fair bit since then and that they can get a more positive outcome. Yeah, well, they've got to improve quite a lot, haven't they, when you think back to the margin of that uh, victory. So uh, it'll be interesting to see whether they can bridge the gap. Kyle Episilio. We've got some news coming out from Turf Moor from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cardiff City. It's been scored by Anthony Pilkington. A well-fighted ball up. Oh. Goes for the volley. Oh, it's in there. A goal there to really savour for all of us watching. Well, the keeper quite rightly asking one or two questions of his defenders who didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. First goal scored on the 30-minute mark. Well, I had to cut off Alan McAnally. Takes a bit of doing, incidentally. But just to remind you, Cardiff City did score in that game. 
and that's the first goal of the game, it's 1-0. Tim Green. Possession in the midfield area. Now Wilson. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. see what he was trying to do but the pass wasn't on it was a, a bad ball as it turned out and that will be delight for the defenders there's no one on the end of the cross and it's Wilson could be dangerous it's a good ball it could be in Placed it. the goal is given and that is the equaliser his head to just place that into the bottom right, made it look easy. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Away we go at one all. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Johnny House. And that's the half time whistle from the referee. What? We are going to see a substitution now. So the weather is terrible, and it's remained so during half-time. There's no respite for the players as they've come out, getting another drenching at the start of the... ...second half. Slip past this man now. He can lay it off to the supporting player. There goes the cross. Shots on here. They've got him to score here. Well, look at his face. He's absolutely delighted with that. And why wouldn't you be scoring on your debut? Simply stroke that one home, giving the keeper no chance. Off we go again, 2 1. And a big signing, and it's Spurs who've made it. Well, it's a fairly big transfer figure, £40 million pounds or thereabouts. And, uh... and here comes the counter attack. The shot's on, it's another goal. The way he's taken it first time, the keeper doesn't have a chance really to get himself across and he's placed it in the bottom left-hand corner. Three one the scoreline as we restart the game. Johnny House. Ebersilio. Here's a chance to counter-attack from that wasted cross by the opposition. Nice bit of footwork. It's a quick break. And shoots! It's his third goal. It's a hat-trick today. He's really been on form. Oh, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. 
that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. He's got his shot off now. Well blocked. And it's Wilson. He can hit it here. What a goal it was to take it first time and guide it in that fashion to the bottom left. That's magnificent. Substitution going on now is. I don't think we expected this. Such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. No conviction now, they definitely think they're beaten. It was a chance, but they're not going to get back into the game, even if he had scored. Just a quick reminder on EA Sports, the Football League Championship fixture. It's this might be it! What a fine save! Goal! That's a terrific goal. Well, the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. And the away team want to make a change. Here's Wilson. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. It's a diagonal ball to switch the play here. Any thoughts on Fulham's next fixture, Alan? They're playing Bournemouth in their next match in the Championship, and uh, I think one goal's going to decide it. Disappointed with that touch. Oliver. It has been a case of the die being cast. This could be a chance. And here's the shot. Well, this is a real charge for a big victory. Tim Reap. Two minutes time. Well, that's it, the final whistle. English Football League Championship. Birmingham City 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. Blackpool 6, Fulham 1. Bolton Wanderers 1, Bournemouth 1. Brentford 1, Wigan Athletic 1. Bristol City 0, Preston North End 0. Burnley 1, Cardiff City 1. Leicester City 3, Leeds United 0. Nottingham Forest 2, Reading 1. Peterborough United 1, Charlton Athletic 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1, Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2, Blackburn Rovers 0, Watford 3, Ipswich Town 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? 
At the top of the table remain Leicester City with 63 points. In second, climbing the table are Watford with 56 points. In third and falling are Queen's Park Rangers with 54 points. In fourth, Blackburn Rovers with 52 points. In fifth, Burnley with 48 points. In sixth, rising up the table are Sheffield Wednesday with 47 points. In seventh, moving down are Nottingham Forest with 47 points, but only behind on goal difference. In eighth, Bournemouth with 45 points. Bottom of the table, Bristol City with 25 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Preston North End with 27 points. Third bottom and falling are Ipswich Town with 29 points. Fourth bottom, Clyde.